Right, so this is the second episode of Norwood Hitchhike Fears to Fathom. Episode playtime 40 minutes. <laughs> this game. In case you didn't know the name of it. Alright. Please don't crash. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Fears to Fathom, Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. <laughs> I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. Same. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to. Hmm. Not anymore. Covid. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. I still need to meet my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. And also too much, um... Carbon. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realised the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. God. Huh? Ooh, we're driving. No. Oh, we can't, uh, ah, uh. whoops, I wasn't the best at driving, that's why you shouldn't text and drive people, uh, let's see, I'm rerouting here, you gotta do what you gotta do, Discord, we got tickets, so, See if I can get the car, let you know. Finally going to take Milo on a walk. There you are. Oh, alright. Okay, the plan is on. Hell yes. Wait, you get in the car? Yep, big girl, you sure Ash can't come. Get the skateboard too. So this cool skateboard there, boy. Sounds fun. Discord. Where you are, almost there. Don't see you, Peach shirt. It was fun, I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Oh, car. Again, you sure driving all the way back. Don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Alright, uh, drive safe Holly, don't forget to call me. You got it dad. Anything else? Leaving now, drive safe Holly. Uh, get your car for five days with who? Aiden, that internet friend, he's a nice guy. I'll drive you, why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Space to get out? <laughs> I wasn't the best at driving, okay, okay. I would admit I was a terrible driver. <laughs> I'm trying, okay? God, my poor dad. Damn it, Enzo. Eh. I hope this music isn't copyright. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Can we turn off the radio? Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Well, at least it used to be. Uh, 
Near halfway through the drive, I realised I was low on gas, so... Get some gas. If we can make it. Hopefully we don't have to break down in the middle of a road. Dad, stop texting me while I drive. Told you to take that flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. This game is a great example of showing what happens when you try and text and drive. <laughs> Ugh. Dad, stop texting me. I'm low on gas. Oh, what was that in the review mirror? <gasps> did I just see somebody there? I swear to God I did. Ah. <gasps> gas! Okay, what did he say? Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. Guys, stop barking. Waff. Yeah, I swear to God I saw somebody. Ooh, vending machine. I was too low on cash for that, okay. Didn't want it. How's your night going? Where you headed? How's your night going? He just looked at me. Alright. Alright. Rude. Holly. Ma. I'll be alright, Dad. Okay. Fault you didn't want it. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed. Okay. We're gonna run away from somebody. What are we doing in here? Oh yeah, we need to get gas, don't we? Do do. <laughs> Hello. Bam. Hi, can I get ten dollars on pump two? Thank you very much. You head into the bridge by yourself. The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Nord Valley monster has torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Cool. <laughs> well, thanks for the gas. Can I use the toilet? Uh, can I? Thanks for the gas. Huh? I don't really want that. Can I get this? There will be consequences. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Consequ- Oh god. Hi. Uh, how's your night going? Wait, you heard about the Norwood Valley Monster? Huh? The Norwood Valley Monster, you know anything? Big mistake. And one more thing, if you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. There's people out there on the road putting their thumbs out 
They ain't what you think, man. They just ain't. Alrighty then. Oh. Uh. Oh. Someone was in a van. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. <laughs> Rita. I just left the store, Mum. But alright. He's still there. Alright. Oh, do I just click on you? Ah, oh, that'll be five dollars, ma'am. Ma'am? Milady. <laughs> For good boys and girls. Pat Pat. And it's just a crazy, crazy pug right there. <laughs> uh, I guess we put it in there. Oh god. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Do we need to do the the petrol thing? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I filled the tank and I was off to road again. On the road again. Fuel up. Can't wait to get on the road again. Okay, let's go. Being on the road, you do realise a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. What is that? Mom, stop texting me. It's not expired or anything, right? No, it should be fine. It's store-bought. Ah! Don't do that. Something about drive- oh god. Something about driving on these type of roads at night. Oh god, stop. That's gonna annoy the person in the car in front of me. Like when you're, um... No! Like when you're alone, it's quite scary. But when you're with someone, it's actually comforting. I don't live near a, like a city, so when I go to like concerts sometimes, it'd be these kind of um, it'd be these kind of journeys. That's what it feels like right now. Well, so far, we're not seeing any woman in white or blue, so that's a good thing. car in front of us just isn't there now. I'm very paranoid right now. The radio isn't working. <gasps> the bridge. Oh! Okay. Well, this is comforting at least. <laughs> Got like pixels on our car. <gasps> oh no, we've lost signal. Well, 
Well, that can't be good. Let's hope we don't. Ah! God damn it. Come on. This feels very unsettling right now. And I do not like it. Oh, there's a car right there. Mm. <gasps> Bunny! Stop it. There's this very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. Oh no. It almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put those there. But I didn't think much of it at the time. Those were heavy. But I'm pretty strong. Oh. 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 I see. Yeah, I heard rustling. in the car racer. Oh no. 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 The car wouldn't start back up. Just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bull crap that gas station clerk pulled, but I would be lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Oh no. But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Oh. Oh. 10.23pm. Me in my Minecraft car. I saw a car nearing. Hey! Wait! Ah! Pure evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Sometimes it's just hard to trust people, but. Ah! <sighs> We're stuck. 10.43 p.m. Oh god, I hate this. This is awful. <gasps> Here comes another. Hey! Yeah, they stopped for me. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, it's you from the gas station. You're the girl from the gas station. Uh, thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you headed to? Just up the road. Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> I have got quite a few things. <clears throat> Just my dog food and my cap. That's all I need. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait, buddy. Hmm, there's smoke coming out of the car, so somebody's uh, probably tampered with it, I'm gonna assume. God, I don't like this feeling at all. I'm doing the best I can. I don't like rushing, but I'm doing the best I can. Uh, guess that's everything. Got a lot of stuff here. Then again, I did go to a gaming convention. <laughs> All right, that's everything. You need to hurry up. I don't have all day. I'm done. Finally, now hop in. Be quick. All right. Be nice to me at least. I've had a rough day. Thanks. <laughs> all right. I mean, he's probably feeling uneasy himself, so... Feels like that um, Rides with Strangers game. So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. Uh, I was driving home. And that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. What? My name's Jason. I'm Holly. And I prefer if you would not kill me, please. <laughs> feels so good to play horror again. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? What's that supposed to mean? How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? It's an old car. That's it? I think so. I mean, we don't know if it was the battery or anything. But it's rather odd because we did uh, fill up on gas. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? I didn't listen to a single word. He really creeped me out. He's funny. He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person travelling down here. So is it true? What? The monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. That's okay. Just don't take me to any abandoned sheds, please. 12.08 a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. 
Oh, he did. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Thank you! Is that all my stuff? Yeah, it is! Uh, I'll be alright, Dad. Got no service at all. Chocolate. Ooh. Meat snack, nuts, chocolate, refreshing soda, bubbles drink can, carrot drink, orange, milk chocolate, candies, grapefruit, chocolate, cola, chocolate, nachos, chocolate, meat snack, potato chips, line drink, onion rings, nuts, chocolate, cola, energy. There's a lot. Roadway in. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Gal need a room to shack up for the night? Um, yes, I'm only gonna be here for a few hours. How much is it for a room? Forty dollars for single. Pay cash only. Okay. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car, yeah. $90. Toby will take care of it next thing in the morning. $90? Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay. Thank you. Alright, let's uh, take our things. I guess we cannot take our things. <clears throat> room 9. Alright, room 9. Room 9. Yes. I may have to stay by a motel tonight. Hmm. Yeah. Trying to reach for me, but they can't. 11 10 9 It was nice and warm inside Where's the mattress? Except there was a smell A type of musky smell you get from old houses Oh nice, Superman Da, da, da. Nice. All right. Hmm. Oh no. Oh, <gasps> it can detect my microphone. No. <laughs> hmm. No telephone here. So. <gasps> oh my god. What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. Yeah, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. The guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I'll make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Arsehole. No one likes that. <laughs> Really needed some energy soda. I just gave you some. <sighs> mm. 
meanie. Where, where can I, where should I put him? <laughs> My dog food. <laughs> yeah, you already had two hands, okay. I just imagine I'm giving him daggers as I'm going by, like I'm just holding my stuff and I'm just going... Drop him and just be like. <laughs> All right, that is everything. Excuse me, one second. Yeet, there we go. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> you have a good night. I'll try to if you don't murder me. What did you do to my bathroom? <sighs> right then, guess we go to sleep. Oh my god. Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Someone was watching me through the window. I couldn't help shake the feeling that something wasn't right. I was, the feeling tiredness was overcoming by anxiety. Oh, a hot cup of coffee would help, I thought to myself. Let me just uh, let me move my stuff out of the way because everything's just blocking me. Uh, coffee. I didn't see any coffee from that machine. What's that one? <clears throat> Couldn't just go in a new room. Okay. Espresso. Oh, for free? Nice. Assuming these items help you stay awake. Mm. Lovely, lovely espresso. God. <gasps> Wait. Oh God, everything's all... Oh no. Everything's all back to front. Mm, I can't read your message. Oh God. Ugh. Is this my room? Yeah, I think it is. Oh god. I think I need to lay down. Oh god. 
That's awful. Someone spiked the coffee. God, that made me feel ill. Oh. 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. Oh. Oh my god, somebody just... Ugh. I thought the phone wasn't working. Someone in the closet. <laughs> Can I hide? <gasps> Who's at the door? Who is it? Joe from front desk, open the door. Hi, there's someone in my closet. Didn't I specifically tell you to not wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? No? We don't have no coffee machine here. Oh, <gasps> it's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once I thought we had a sober guest. But I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Come on. Come on. I'll show you the coffee machine. There is no way I was going to open that closet. Is he following me? Yeah, he's following me. Okay. And there was a coffee machine. Why is that trunk open? Oh god, you're not going to put me in there, are you? Uh, the coffee machine is gone. It. How did they get? How did they get rid of that? For some reason, his demeanor completely changed. Go back to the room. Oh, you're too close. I swear to God, it was right here. I said, go back now. Okay. <gasps> there should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the telly. Why should I trust you to... Why should I trust you to take some random medication? There could be side effects, there could be something I'm allergic to, or there could be something in there that makes you want to kill me. <gasps> He's gone. Is he gone? I think he is. Requires water. We have had a sink, so outside the bathroom. Gordon, thank you for the subscription. Thank you. Thanks for the sub. Is that it?
No, 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 no. Close it. I could hear him saying hello. And it doesn't help that he can detect my PC fan. I hate that I have to turn off the microphone for the actual thing. Hello. Hello. Stop that, that's creepy. Who is it? Please open the door, I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please open the door. No. Go away. I know you're in there. Go away. <laughs> oh god. Hmm. Stop it, just go away. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or, am I go or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty late. <laughs> So he was a good guy. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on lo long road trips again. I would always take aeroplanes. There he is with my car. I survived! Good lord. That was tense. That felt like... That felt as tense as the first episode. Good lord. Oh, that was uncomfortable. And what sucks is that it feels so real too. 
Like with these being real life stories as well, you just... Nice music. <laughs> I'm curious to see what happens if um, if you do open that closet. But um, I think I'd have to play through the entire game again just to get to that point. Uh. Get out of my room. <laughs> and then it just shuts off. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. That one was good. <laughs> oh god. We need more games like this. They really are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> 